Do we have anyone else that wishes to speak for the proposal? Yes, yeah. I'll speak a little bit for the proposal. <coughs> the rules of how this commission was set up on what it could and couldn't do are fully explained. The, the time to block this monument from being set up was during the last session when Act, and I can't remember the name of the number for it, the Act to set this up uh, was established. Uh, you could also say that perhaps uh, during the elections that this is a time that you were appointed by elected officials, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? You were appointed by an elected official. So that, that's the time to have blocked this. And then I suppose if, it, if a, the anti-Christian left decides to file a junk lawsuit requiring uh, this removal or that another religion be placed, that it could be decided then. Um, but the law also stays for public comment, so that's why we're allowed to come here and speak. Uh, I have to break to some people, but in many, in some cases, just because public comment is allowed does not mean that the group that you're speaking to has the ability to change a certain law. That's just the way it's set up. I've been through this for a while. I've been through the public speaking on several issues. I've testified for the state legislature, uh, as well as numerous city council meetings and such. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as an example, as a state, uh, I believe what we're doing is we're, we're turning back to uh, the precedence that this was a Judeo Christian nation that tolerated other religions and that it was part of our history. Uh, and we'll let, I guess, it, eventually, if there's a junk lawsuit filed, uh, we'll let the courts decide. But anyway, I, I greatly thank you for your time here. Speak against the proposal. If, you're, if we're bringing something new to the table, uh, that would be appreciated. But I don't want to restrict anyone from the opportunity to speak. I, you had stood up. Were you wanting to speak against the proposal? Just, I, I don't feel like anybody's time was wasted here today. Um, everybody had a chance to uh, speak up. And I respect everyone's opinion. And I thank you for this opportunity for everyone's voice to be heard. I think that's the way we all feel. And, uh, but as one of them said, our job is to find the place. Had we been here a year ago before this ever came up to the session, things might have been different for the three of us. But we were asked to come on to this committee. <laughs> to do this. I was very honored that the governor wanted me to be on this commission, but I thought, well, it'll look good in my obituary. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I've given up my day today to leave my office and drive down here to listen to this all day because I feel like I owe it to you. I owe it to my two constituents right here and everybody else to hear what everybody has to say. But as far as me being able to change the way the session voted for it, I can't do that. Those are our little names against. Um, it breaks my heart to know 